Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is December 5th of 2017. Wanted to update you on what's been going on. Uh, if you've been following the videos here, I purchased this a, a couple days ago. The <clears throat> Samsung Galaxy Note 5 from Amazon. Um, oops, I didn't want to, let's see. Wanted to get, well, where is it? Oh, here it is. Uh, I look at the number of, uh, there's 209 customer reviews and the uh, rating is three stars. I talked about that in detail in uh, some of the other videos, but I went ahead and purchased this unlocked cell phone. And I got it, and uh, it was not an unlocked cell phone. It had been set up with uh, AT&T, and I use T-Mobile service. And so I think if you saw the last, I'm not sure, couple videos that I made, uh, I thought about uh, switching to uh, AT&T service. But on this uh, cell phone, there was at least 11 AT&T apps that were not removable. I could, with the software, I could have hid them. But when I tried to do uh, various things with the cell phone, it would attempt to load up something from AT&T. Of course, they had AT&T put it as a home page. Of course, with the browser, I could, you know, I was able to change that, of course. But I just, uh, I liked the S Pen. You know, uh, this is my old cell phone. And I watched all the reviews on the Galaxy Samson Note 5, and everyone talked about how uh, great the display was. <clears throat> they said it was even better, you know, this uh, Samson Galaxy Note 5 is a two-year-old uh, phone, uh, but people said, oh, the display on that is better than the new brand new phones, better than the Apple phone or whatever. Uh, I don't know what the problem was, but the display on my blue phone here, I forget which model it is, but its I thought it was much better. Like I said, I like the S Pen uh, on the Note 5. But So anyway, I just... Uh, it. Uh, returned it. I uh, returned it to Amazon for a full refund and uh, UPS picked it up today uh, to go back. And I'm just going to stick now with my old cell phone. I was happy with it really. I just wanted to uh, upgrade and I really knew I shouldn't have. I just wanted to upgrade. And then I wanted the S Pen uh, ability. And then, of course, I was also interested in the display, which was supposed to be so fantastic. I don't think it's as good as... Uh, and So I don't know what was wrong with, uh, with, the, uh, with the phone. Other than, you know, I know it was un not unlocked. Uh, so I returned it. So if you also have been following the um, videos here, uh, you'll know that I, I would have been struggling. Should I get a new cell phone or should I get a new uh, Panasonic computer or a com uh, camera? And I've been going on for weeks, maybe months, uh, I have a 
two Panasonic cameras now. I have an FZ200. I even purchased, well, show you how dumb I am. Back to this cell phone. I purchased a $20 book on it before I got the, uh, I ordered in the uh, case for it. I'm not going to return either of those two items. That's just stupidity on my, you know, my part for doing that. But uh, I have an FZ200. I ordered an FZ300 book. And uh, really couldn't make my mind between three Panasonic phones or Panasonic. I shouldn't be doing a video tonight. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, I really couldn't make up my mind between the FZ80, the um, FZ300, or the uh, G7. In the, and the G7, well, really the FZ80, uh, about a $350 phone uh, camera. And the thing about it, it has a zoom lens for, that goes up to 2,200, a fantastic zoom lens. Also, I just heard a little beep, which sometimes means that USB something got disconnected. I hope I'm still uh, still recording. Um, so I sort of eliminated the FZ. Oh, I wanted to say the FZ80. It makes a really good, of course, 4K video, and you can extract from those 4K video images. So you could make a video. Uh, you know, if say your son's a football player, high school football player, and you go there and you make 4K video, and then you can go, you could take out images out of that easily, right on the camera, in fact. You know, him jumping over somebody or making a touchdown. So it has some, uh, some good features, but I eliminated it. So... Uh, it was down to a FZ300, which is the upgrade to my FZ200, which is a fantastic camera. Even now, it just doesn't have 4K and doesn't have a few of the, of course, have added new things. And uh, then the other, and that's the FZ300, $500. And this camera, which is $500 also, same price, and it's the uh, Panasonic G7. And everybody raves about the G7, but people that the FZ300 also say it's... But I uh, have decided as of right now that uh, when I get my refund... For the cell phone, I'm going to add a uh, hundred and fifty dollars to that and get the G7 camera. So probably here in less than a week, you'll be seeing me with the G7 camera, and I'll be making some videos, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, you can see here the reviews. You know, 198 reviews here and. It's four and a half stars, all good reviews. And everybody who has reviewed this, and I've watched a ton of reviews on on uh, YouTube. Uh, just a little thing I want to mention. I made a, I think the last video or maybe the one before where I talked about, well, I'm through with the, uh, note 5 and I'm going to send it back uh, Amazon uh, no YouTube uh, demonetized that said that it's not advertiser friendly or whatever and they said uh, of course you know well you can appeal this 
and you click on I click on the button too because they're with anything. Now, sure, I talked about don't go to you know don't go to this site <laughs> and purchase it. But I talked about how great the uh, Galaxy Note 5 was, the S Pen, the display. I thought the display was you know great. Um, but I just said, you know, hey, it was sent to me as an unlocked, it, it wasn't an unlocked one. And uh, then I mentioned, you know, that this cell phone was really nice, which, which uh, is sold on, you know, Amazon also. Uh, anyway, so uh, YouTube demonetized uh, the thing, the YouTube video. Then they have a right at this point, they have a point, okay, well, you can appeal it. So I clicked, I usually don't, I just say to hell with it. Uh, I don't get that many views anyway, that is, it's not gonna, but just sort of the principle of the thing. So I, uh, I clicked, okay, review it, because there's nothing wrong with it, in my opinion, you know. Then, of course, the thing pops up, and says, well, you have to have a thousand views within, I think within seven days or something like that, or we, or we don't, re, you know, we don't uh, review it for you. I'm not going to get a thousand views in uh, seven days. Uh, that's not the type of, you know. I mean, I've got some videos that I've got, I don't know, 40,000 views and stuff like that, you know, but I, I get upload something and maybe in, in the first day I get 50 views. Uh, next day, I'm, it's up to 75 views. Maybe in a week it's got 150 views or something. So Anyway, that's it. I just wanted you to know what's going on because there have been several people that have asked me questions. And there's some people, a lot of people, of course, because YouTube people, a lot of you, you know, you, there's a 20 minute video and you watch the first three and a half minutes or something. That's about par for for most people, unless it's something, you know. So I'm getting people saying, you know, now, oh, how do you like your new cell phone? Or, or they're saying, uh, why are you returning it? If they watched five or 10 minutes of the video, they would know why, you know, so. So that's why I'm uploading that. I do, I no longer have the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Um, I think it probably is an excellent deal at uh, the price, but not through this Amazon site here. And I don't know what happens if you click on, you know, other sources over here. I'm not sure what, um, you know, what's going to happen with it. Uh, because I'm guessing that Samsung is not having more of these phones made and shipped to the United States. They've gone on to the others. And so these cell phones here that you're seeing are ones that were in another, went to Australia or some other country, English speaking country, I'm guessing. And, uh, or surplus there. I mean, not surplus used, but they were in. I'm like the phone that I I got. I'm guessing was uh, designed and shipped, let's say, to Australia, and went into if they have AT and T there. I don't know, but went into the stores, set up for AT and T, and then people are buying the new ones or buying something else. So those are shipped over here and sold by these other sellers. So I'm not sure, but I'm guessing that if, and I'm not sure if you can, I'm guessing though that if you were to go to AT&T, Sprint, whoever, you know, dealers here that sell them, you know, the actual cell phone people, I'm I'm pretty sure if you bought it there, you would, you know, if you went to AT&T, 
it would come to you like this phone. Or if you went to T-Mobile. I don't think T-Mobile, uh, because I use T-Mobile. Oh, yeah, T-Mobile probably does. Because um, I did go to T-Mobile and was able to click and say, this is the phone that I'm now using. Where with this uh, blue phone, which I've been using for years, I don't know how long, a couple years, a year, uh, when I went to T-Mobile, there was no, they listed all the manufacturers. This phone wasn't uh, listed, so I couldn't say this is the phone that I'm using. So it showed me as a unknown phone. So I don't know. Don't take my advice. I'm not an expert on on this. I just wanted you to know what situation that I went into. Let me add this too, by the way. Uh this cell phone uses uh, a SIM card and memory, an SD card. Uh, the SIM card, and you can put two SIM cards in, the SIM card is not the nano size, the next size up. So this phone was a nano size, so I couldn't pop out my S my SIM card for T-Mobile and put it in. I had to get a new uh, T-Mobile nano card and put that in. So uh, actually my daughter had one that was not, she uses T-Mobile and has had a bunch of phones and she had one that was unused that fit in that, so that works. I didn't have to buy one and got this phone working immediately. Uh, but then when I, so, you know, in the morning, <laughs> the other day, my phone was working. In the afternoon, this phone came. In the afternoon, I switched and had it working with uh, T-Mobile. The next day, I decide to hell with it. So I go back to this phone, and I could not get the... Uh, service to work. So I called the tech and talked to the tech for a long time. But they couldn't. They thought they could figure it out. They couldn't figure it out, why it wouldn't work. Um, then they switched me to, okay, we're going to switch, switch you to the technician. I had some title, you know, and I thought, okay, great, you know, somebody who really, I went there and was on for a long time with a very nice lady, and then she just finally said, I don't know what the problem is. Uh, you're going to need to, you know, get a new, uh, and, you know, I already had the new Nano. Uh, you're going to have to get a new SIM card. You have to go to the uh, T-Mobile dealer, you know, to get one. And now don't hang up. I'm entering in the computer here that they are to give you one for free. They are to give you, you know. So anyway, uh, Hillary drove me over to the uh, dealer. Uh, T-Mobile. And went in and they couldn't find it anywhere on their thing that I was to get a free one. Now I'd looked on here, which I could get like one day delivery, but that still wouldn't help because I don't think. Um, but I um, looked online and you can get them for like, I don't know, $3, $5, you know, one day delivery. Of course, it wouldn't be, I don't think, one day delivery I, for that amount of money. I think you'd have to order at least 30 I don't know. So anyway, went over to the dealer, which was not far away, went in, and they couldn't find anything on the on the thing about me getting it. I said, okay, I'll pay. Of course, Hillary would not let me pay. My daughter was with me. She insisted on paying for it. And uh, $15 for the... And they popped it in and bang, back, back working. So that's the uh, that's the story.
I do not even want to think about all the mistakes I've made in the last few days, you know, and of course I can still use, you know, parts of this uh, book, and this guy um, has a great YouTube site, Graham there, has a great, in which he talks about Panasonic cameras mainly, I think almost entirely, but he talks about specifically, and he's the author of this book, and uh, so anyway, thank you very much for watching, and before long I will be, re well, I'm not going to review the G7, because there again, there are a ton of excellent reviews on YouTube, fantastic reviews by people who, who are, you know, review the G7 camera, Panasonic G7 camera, and who show samples of video, but I'll, um, uh, I'll tell you what my experiences are, what I like about it, uh, and, uh, give you an idea of what I'm going to do, different things. Um, uh, you know, it, it has a touch screen, the, uh, G7, what am I showing you this here? The G7 has a touch screen, a really nice one. Uh, also you can feed out, also there's an app, so I'll be, if I want to set it up here and make a video here, I'll be able to co control with an app, zoom and things like that. And I think with the, you can feed out uh, over HDMI cable the video. So I can feed the video out into this screen and then do a screen capture of, so we'll see, we'll be playing with, I'll be playing with stuff like that, seeing if I can do those kind of things and see how those kind of things uh, work out, so. No review, but I'll be playing around and I'll be showing you a little bit uh, about the G7 camera here soon. Thank you very much for watching.